Hello, it's Tom from Trainsim TV here. Today we're going to be doing a scenario video um, on the Harrogate Loop Line. Now, for the people that don't know, um, Harrogate Loop Line is one of my creations, um, and I found this scenario on the web, um, which features the new Class 170 workings that um, have started happening on the route. So um, we're on two Charlie 24 leads to York via Harrogate. Um, the briefing, uh, morning driver, you've bagged yourself one of the first passenger workings of the Northern's new Class 170 fleet. The downside is some of your times are tight. And to make matters worse, more rain is forecast and cautious driving will likely make you late. See to it that it does not happen. To add to this, the destination displays aren't working. They'll be the least of your problems. Please allow the passengers to board and prepare your cab in time to be ready to the depart. The departure time itself is at 10.29 and you'll be calling at Burley Park, Headingley, Horsforth, Wheaton, Panal, Hormine Park and finally Harrogate where you will be relieved. Good luck, you'll need it if you don't want the boss giving you a good hiding. <laughs> now uh, I'm under the understanding this is part one so there will be a part two somewhere floating around I'll have to have a look for it so um, as it says here we are going as far as Harrogate so let's get this uh, the ball rolling yeah, so get the doors open DSD on. Right, so it's 10.29 we are due to depart from Leeds. You'll notice that we've got some 333 lookalikes here. Um, obviously it's not a 333. Well, um, it's close enough. I think these are from uh, BH reskins. If I remember correctly. They do the job for the area until we get a suitable model. <clears throat> Whilst we're uh, on the Harrogate line, um, there will be some updates and changes coming to the route soon. Um, we've got some new overhead wiring um, mods that are changing the whole York side of the route, firstly. Um, once that has been done and finished, the route will get updated with other major fixes um, to the core route. Um, once that's been released there will be an update then down the line for the lead section. Giving a whole new overhead wiring look. It'll be a lot more realistic as well. There'll be all sorts here that people will be thinking, well where we get this from? Um, the 185 is from um, I think the Lulad. Um, you can find the 185 model um, with a, a basic Google search. It's a, it is just a freeware model though. Right, so it's Along with the update for the first part of the overhead wiring, I do plan to add some more scenarios myself for the route. Um, there will be some more 170 workings and some other bits and pieces to go with that.
anyone that hasn't downloaded the Harrogate loop line, you can get that from the Vulcan Productions website. Links will be provided at the bottom of the video in the description. And what you get is you get this map. The uh, the main section is the obviously the top part, the Harrogate line, which is fully sceneried. Um There is partial parts to the uh, direct line, also done, but not to the same updated standards of what we've got on this route. And the next stop is Burley Park in 1.5 miles. As we leave the air, air Valley line now, we head on to the actual Harrogate Loop itself. Shortly passing over Kirkstall Viaduct. A little bit of background information regarding the route. Um, basically, the route started off as the TPR Trans Pennine route, um, as you all know if you, anyone followed it on the UK train sim. The route was founded by Jim Nobbs, who did all the track work, and uh, at the beginning of the route, well up to its seventh year, um, the route was absolutely huge. Um, it spanned a lot more than what it is now. It, it came all the way over to Scarborough, went all the way over to Manchester and Liverpool, down to Doncaster. It had everything. But um, sadly, I had to chop a lot of it off, down to the fact that it would never get completed, and um, the fact that it wasn't stable enough with the amount of track work and the signalling there was. So I bit the bullet and uh, I removed the majority of what wouldn't ever be done. Um, I do have a, a copy of the old route still so we can always say one day stuff may get added back in but for now we've got plenty to keep us going. be nice to add it all back in and have it scenery but um, I just don't ever think it'll ever happen. With a wheel slip. Um, the route was um, worked on by a number of people in its early days. Um, a lot of people, there was probably 25 to 30 members over the course of the time. Possibly maybe a few more. Um, everyone that's worked on it has contributed um, a great deal of effort and work and time. And without them, this route would not exist today. Um, on its seventh or so year, um, of me being working on it, it got shelved um, 
I then started working on the Northern Lines, which also is available on uh, Vulcan Productions, which is the Blackpool line to Preston. Um, yeah, I got shelved for that sadly, and um, only started really working again on the route about a year or so ago, possibly. And the route you see now didn't look like this. It had a lot of Kuju assets. Uh, all the line size stuff got ripped up and changed. We've got a new track added in, which is which replaced the old Kuju, and it, it gave it a more modern look of what we have now. It put, sort of put it up to the standards of uh, other routes that come out today. So. Yeah, so about for about six months or so, I um, I tackled the whole line side changes for the release that took place last year. Part of the Vulcan Productions 12 Days of Christmas. Heading now, heading sorry. Um, we've got Horsforth, Wheaton, Panal, Hornbeam Park, and Harrogate left to call out on this trip. Speaking of um, the scenery, as you can probably gather, obviously the line side is all new 3D trees, but if you head away, we still have the old Kuju presence available um, to see. We've made a bit of a, a boo-boo, we've missed the DSD. And we're supposed to be professional on these videos, aren't we? Obviously that, that'll be uh, music to people's ears that come regularly into the streams and see stuff like that, so that'll make them chuckle. Speaking of streams, um, if you haven't done at all, you can uh, catch 
up with me most nights of the week on twitch.tv forward slash Tom has two where I'll, I'll I stream all sorts of different stuff to do with train simulator whether it's uh, scenarios route building different train simulator platforms such as train sim world um, and indie games also to do with train stuff we also do a bit of uh, Euro Truck simulation in between here and there it be good to see as many faces as possible if you ever see me on please do come and say hello Just under a mile now to Horsforth. Just in a couple of moments time we're going to be dropping into Bremhope Tunnel which is the longest tunnel on the route about two miles long
about three and a half miles to Wheaton as well. And there is light at the end of the tunnel. If I also remember correctly, this uh, the reskin was done by um, a chap called Alex, and the, the skin got hosted at BH Reskins. It also uses the AP 170 enhancement pack. One thing that's always stayed with this route is this little uh, cameo. But one of my favourite little cameos. This was it before I even, I even like got into route building. When I joined the team, this was one of the first things I saw, and I, it made me chuckle. Just a burnt out, uh, clocked out motor.
apologise for the uh, excessive yawning. Uh, it's only down to the fact that it's, <laughs> it's nearly two o'clock in the morning here at the time of filming. It's been a busy night with uh, YouTubing today. Please do, um, if you have the time, to have a look through the YouTube channel. There's many different videos, tutorials also, for the train simulator. Hopefully there's uh, something for you all there. Same to the real life, um, with all these ex Scott Rail units that have come to Northern, a lot of them have not actually been repainted yet. I know that they, uh, they are getting done, just a timely process. And there's a couple that have been done now. This is Penal. Nice little station, as well. It's got a, a pub like, built onto the back of the station where it looks down with a little terrace. Now we take our climb up to Crimple Viaduct. We have the uh, the tight curve, the Crimple curve into the viaduct, then down to Hornbeam Park, then finally onto Harrogate. Us that we've got a 20 mile an hour speed restriction coming up just for the uh, the bend we've been so uh, such a tight radius
favourite part of the route this. This and uh, Nair's provide up to probably the two favourites. The stations can only just about accommodate 170 in some places. The next and final stop will be Harrogate for this uh, part. When I get hold of the second part, and if I can find it, I will record that part also. Just under a mile to Harrogate. This is how we got. Once again, I hope you've enjoyed watching this uh, video. Um, once again, you can get the route from Balkan Reductions, the link will be below. And please do give us a subscribe and hit the little notification bell um, just so you get updates on new videos that come out. Um, remember, you can catch me on Twitch most days of the week. Um, on 
Twitch TV forward slash Tom has two. I look forward to seeing you there. Once again, thank you very much for watching. Now I should just about end now. Yeah. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. I'll catch you again on the next one. Take care and bye for now.